This is my new simplest self-sustaining and playerless nether tree farm. It produces slightly less sense per hour than the latest one, but it's significantly smaller and simpler. And it now allows for a player to stand right next to the farm when it's running, aka it runs in random tick range. I'll play a nice cinematic before I talk about the details and explain the design choices. Believe me, this farm is super simple. Water streams make up two-thirds of its size. That means that it looks three times bigger than the stuff that actually does anything. I made this farm to directly compete against Tutulu's nether tree farm, because their tree farm was just the best in terms of simplicity for race ratio. It also allowed for a player to stand right next to the farm while it ran, which none of my farm offered before this one. So I decided I wanted to do better and I made this farm. I used a slightly bigger core than Tutulu, which allowed me to generate more trees per bone meal used. I tried a brand new dispenser and piston layout that I never used before and it's really really goated, trust me. I have plans to apply it on bigger core designs and it should make a massive impact. Now let's talk about the brand new challenge I had to face with this farm. Random Tick. Take a block of Nalium and bone meal it. You might get a fungus. Now bone meal that fungus a few times and you'll get a tree. That stem right here can suffocate the nylon. At any given time, randomly, if there's a stem above a nylon block, the nylon may turn into netherrack. That is simply unavoidable. It was avoidable in 1.16 but that got changed later. So we need to do something with this netherrack. Luckily for us, netherrack can be bone milled to give us nylon. All that needs to happen for the conversion to happen is for an island block to be next to the netherrack when it gets bone milled. But how do we detect if the block in our farm is netherrack or nalium? That's the neat part, we don't. To do this nether tree farm, simply cycle the nalium around every cycle. The dispenser that is responsible for bone milling the nalium and producing vegetation would be the same system that would bone mill netherrack back to nalium every now and again. But that process wastes one bone mill attempt if we have netherrack because we're not getting any vegetation and therefore no trees can be generated in this cycle. This problem only amplifies the more nylon blocks the core contains. More blocks have a chance to grow a tree and get random ticked into netherrack. But let's not panic, the solution is very easy. We just add more dispensers to the side of the core. When the nylon is moved around, both the center block and the extremities are going to be bone milled. Now, bone meal and nalium uses one bone meal to create vegetation, so that's a very bone meal costly process. Unless we use a glass block above the nalium. That lets netherrack turn into nalium but prevents nalium from generating vegetation because there's a block above. For the rest, the core uses a continual bone mealing wiring for no bone mealing downtime and it has a smart bone meal input that self regulates the amount of bone meal used to generate vegetation. It just spends every single bone meal we feed it. If the farm runs low on bone meal, the farm slows down a little bit, and when the bone meal level stabilizes, the farm will spend the surplus to generate more trees. 
the stems the core produces are sent at the top to be exploded with the rest of the trees. Now we'll take a look at this part. We have two Block 36 TNT dupers on each side that will blow up the trees. Block 36 TNT dupers have a very special property that make them absolutely perfect for TNT spams like this one. They don't kill items in one shot like regular TNT would. That lets us use more TNT without killing items. Now you might think, why don't you stack more modules to take out the entirety of the trees? Great question. Well, it turns out that doing so only increases the rates by about 400 stems per hour or so. Yeah, about 400. Just because we use Block 36 TNT doesn't mean we can spam TNT endlessly. In my opinion, it isn't really worth the extra cost and size since I wanted to make this farm to be small and easy to build. But if you disapprove, then grab Light Nomadica and copy paste the modules to the height you want. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the farm. Watch this guide before you build the farm and join my Discord server to stay updated on my projects, give feedback, ask for help, or take a look at all the technical Minecraft resources that I'm collecting there. Thanks for watching and bye bye.